and today I'm doing something that I haven't done for quite a while but I've never done it with these ingredients so um, we're going to be making sweet potato gnocchi with a basic tomato sauce so um, yeah let's have a look and see what we do okay so I have already made a start with the potatoes uh, so I have cooked them in the air fryer you can cook them in the oven as well so we need 475 grams of bacon potatoes so that's like two bacon potatoes and we need 175 grams of sweet potato I could only get quite small ones so um, I cook these in the air fryer the potatoes for about 40 minutes at 200 and the small sweet potatoes at for about 25 minutes um, but if you can get a sweet potato about the same size as the potatoes they should all take about the same time right so now they're cooked we're going to cut them all in half so they are soft all the way through Okay, and now we're just going to leave these to cool down until we can start handling them. So while they're cooling down, we're going to get on and make the sauce. Okay, so for the sauce, I'm just going to make it really, really simple. Um, so I'm going to add a teaspoon of oil into a pan. That's olive oil. And I'm going to add one clove of garlic, which has been thinly sliced. Uh, so you put that in when the oil's cold, and you put it on a medium heat. As it starts heating and the garlic starts sizzling and you can really smell the garlic, that's when we add our tomatoes. Okay, once the potatoes are cool enough, you want to take a bowl and you want to peel off the skin. So you should just be able to push it out. And do that with all, all of the potato. Okay, once all the potato is out of the skin, we're going to take a masher and we're just going to mash this all together. Once that's done and you removed any lumps, just give it a bit of a stir just to get the two potatoes mixed evenly. Okay, and then we're going to add 100 grams of plain flour. And then we're just going to mix this into a dough. Okay, once that's done, your sauce should be nearly ready. So we've just got a couple of things to do to the sauce. 
Okay, so once the sauce has reduced, we're going to add a handful of chopped basil. So I use the frozen stuff, so I'm just going to put a bit in. And then add some black pepper. So we're going to stir that through. And that's your sauce ready. And then next up we're going to put a large pan of water on to boil. So it's got to be quite large because we're doing quite a lot of the gnocchi. Right, back to that then. Okay, so onto a lightly floured surface. We're going to turn out this dough. And we're going to knead it a few times. If it's still a bit sticky, add a bit more flour. This is a little bit sticky. Okay, so you only need to knead it a few times just to bring it all together. Um, and then we're going to split this into four. And then we're going to roll it into a sausage. not sure on the measurements but you want them so that they become small bite-sized pieces so you don't want it too thick so once you roll it out you want to take a knife and like I say we're gonna cut into small bite-sized pieces so somewhere around that big Okay, now there's two ways that you can do this. You can then squeeze them in the middle or you can take a fork and just roll the fork to make an indentation. I like to squeeze them in the middle. It's just a lot quicker. So I'm going to do that with all of the other bits of the dough and then we'll cook it. Okay, once you're done, you should end up with about this much. So, I say, depending on people's appetites and what you're putting it with, that'll do for, um, I don't know, two to three people. Um, so, yeah, so I'm still waiting for the water to boil. So, as soon as that's done, I will show you how to cook it. Okay, so once the water starts boiling, you want to add some salt. And then you just want to drop them in one by one. Now you might not want to put all of them in. You don't want to overcrowd it. And make sure you've got a slotted spoon. Because when they're done, they will rise to the top and start floating like this. They're starting to float now. So once they start floating, you want to take them out and put them on your plate or your bowl.
and then drop the rest in. Okay, so once that's done then, uh, we're just going to pour over the sauce. So I'm going to use about half of the sauce. There's about two portions there. And then to finish off, I'm just going to add a sprinkling of hard cheese or parmesan if you want. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, let's give it a go. Mm. They taste so much different to the normal potato gnocchi. They taste great. You can taste the sweet potato in it. The flavour really comes through. That's really nice. I might do that from now on, mixing the two potatoes, because that is really nice. Yeah, definitely a winner in my book. I know it's a, it takes a little bit long time, but yeah, it's worth it. So that's it for me. Keep experimenting, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.